So since that time, the two countries have met a further 23 times, and the All Blacks have been a dominant force, last losing way back in 1953. John, Ladies and gentlemen, would you remain standing? Two changes in the backs, the big talking point, the test debut for 20-year-old Hawks Bay man, Zach Guilford, the youngster, will be feeling the nerves, no doubt, but there's no question he deserves to be here. And Brendan Leonard and Stuart Tehish of England as Dan Carter gets this test match underway, the 25th test match between the All Blacks and Wales. And the All Blacks have uh, scooped up the loose ball as Leonard sends it wide to McCaw. And Wales hoeing into this one, driving the All Blacks back. Nicely taken by Hook. Now Guilford going back. Gets an early touch. Carter is back there with him. And that's a good, powerful punt downfield. Waiting for this one as... Tests against the All Blacks, so they actually gave the ball to the right winger, and he's missed it. Now, here's a quick uh, kick. Just slightly overcooked. One for Guilford to run onto. He was the player of the tour in the Lions. Now, the All Blacks take it quickly. Here's Guilford getting into a bit of space. Just didn't have the support, but got it up towards halfway. Now Leonard delivers for Card. He's going to drop this in behind. Here's Guilford. Now the bounce of the ball, but half he got it. Guilford tipped him up, and McCaw finished it off. Competing hard, as it will come for Leonard. Now with Carter. Here's the cross kick. Okay, Stewie. Guilford jumps high. And there's not too much in it between Zach Guilford and Lee Halfpenny. Maybe Guilford just a little taller. Reed off the top for Leonard. Now Carter jabs the kick through. Guilford after it, makes the tackle, so does Smith. And the Welsh trap right near their own line. It could come for the All Blacks here. Close to the line, the referee's got his arm out. Not too many options available for the little winger. So again, he goes high. Now Zach Guilford, beautifully done. Superb take by the youngster. The All Blacks in a good attacking position here as it's off to Carter. Now Guilford got it away quickly. Bobbled by Corey Jane, and in fact he did knock it on. Leonard sends it off to Carter. All Blacks might use this. Marnonu having a run for the first time, finding Smith. Now Guilford, he's got support from Richie McCaw, who's even wider. Wasn't required, so Nonu. Injury issues in the last couple of seasons. Leonard coming forward to meet it as uh, Hook didn't get it it was claimed instead by the All Blacks and Andrew Hoare taking the pass off Reed and it really well Leonard hands it off to Guilford puts the foot down here goes Zach Guilford getting support from Smith but the pass has been thrown to a Welsh player now Carter hands it across to Nonu now Guilford tries to throw the pass can't do it with Eaton nice delivery Cowan yes he's on side. just coming down in Welsh territory and he couldn't get it, it falls for Thorne. Brad Thorne bulldozes his way, then he leaves the ball behind. Came off the foot of Jimmy Cowan, no knock on, as uh, Crockett gets it across. The All Blacks looking good here. They're only five metres short of the line. They're looking for the first try of the day, and I think it's over the line, it is. Now, let's see who comes up with it. Andrew Hoare it is. Got an attacking option here for the All Blacks. Cowan works it off to Carter. Now Nonu, Nonu with Carter doubling. Carter gets it off to Guilford. Smith is close, rolling, possibly. Quite possibly. Ball is there for Cowan. Now Carter, Nonu runs the dummy. Way out to Muli Aina. Now Corey Jane, Guilford in a bit of space. Got his pass back nicely to Smith. Once again, the Welsh defence holds up. An empty seat in the place as the kick is made by Roberts. Fired away by Guilford. And he's come back and taken the pass beautifully. Now it's with Corey Jane. Here's Nonu. Nonu. Bit of space here for Smith. Smith looks to make the kick. Didn't quite get the distance he was Tackle after. Fred. Still loose. Away for Shanklin. Another copybook tackle by Conrad Smith as the All Blacks commit players to the ruck. The Wales get the penalty. Well, I think the All Blacks are very unlucky here. Adam Thompson's gone in there and he's positioned himself beautifully over the ball. Now I just think this is just a little roughy here. Well, they're going to shoot at goal.
might well have been the angle that Owen Franks came in at Tony. I think have this relentless wave going once again as Owen Franks gives it back to Carter in a sec. Now, what do you reckon? Wynn Jones needs to throw a pass and be knocked down by Guilford. Ball is loose. Wales, here's their big opportunity. Can they free it up? Zach Guilford started his rugby career Greytown Marston. But we're all on their feet at the moment. We're very proud as mum's here in the stand. Carter, here's McCaw. Thank now you. Smith. Conrad Smith busting. Clear. Here he goes. Looking to throw the pass. Taken by Shane Williams. Now here's Adam Thompson. Ball was lost forward by Wales. So the All Blacks. No advantage lost forward from a red hand. Well, no advantage, he claims. He looks at the clock, and that is it. Again, they can't do it, Wales. So the All Black record remains intact. 1953, the last time Wales beat the All Blacks.